High school graduation is looking a lot different this year for the class of 2020. As News 8's David Gofferson reports, some local students are getting ready to put on their caps and gowns and head to the Santee Drive-In. They're at least all going to be together watching the graduation ceremony on the big screen. Santana High School is one of six schools in the Grossmont Union High School District holding graduation ceremonies this year at the Santee Drive-In. Principal Tim Shawuko says the entire ceremony will be pre-recorded on video and played on the widescreen. It's going to have the principal welcome message. It's going to have a valedictorian speech. Uh, our band's going to play a song. Every kid's name and picture is going to be read. Santana High also plans to have a drive-by parade on campus so students can say goodbye to their teachers and a private diploma ceremony where students line up with family members and walk across the stage. We're coming together so we can celebrate it together. And it's it's something that, you know, ideally we'd all be on the field, but we can't do that this year, so this is the next best thing. But some students in the class of 2020 are pushing back. The problem with the Santee Drive-In is we're limited to one car. West Hills High School senior Jules Fossing started a Facebook group and supports an online petition calling for in-person cap and gown ceremonies later in the year. We think that we deserve something more and we're willing to work for more, we're willing to wait and we're willing to help in whatever way that we can. Other local high schools have decided to wait and see if they can hold in-person graduations in July or August, but that approach could be risky. To push it off into July, August, September, whenever you're going to do that, you're rolling the dice that you might not be able to do anything at that time. And I think this is a good way to celebrate while still keeping the kids safe. Now for those students with families who maybe don't own a vehicle, they're going to set up chairs at the drive-in with social distancing so those families can enjoy the ceremonies as well. Carla? And David, one thing we're seeing is that pretty much every high school is making its own graduation plans, trying to figure something out so it's different all over the county. That's correct. My, uh, my, my daughter's high school here in Tierra Santa is one of those high schools taking a wait and see approach. So they're hoping to have in-person graduation ceremony in July. But if for some reason they can't do that, uh, they're going to be very disappointed and they're going to have to do it online. I understand the feeling. My, my Del Norte Nighthawk, I know they're working on a plan of their own to get the kids the proper recognition that they deserve on their special day. Thanks, David.